So late in 2016 um, is when I hear that the black people brought here on the slave ships could possibly be the same people that the whole Old Testament is written about, the Israelites. And so I started to research that and read and watch videos and read things online. And it, especially after reading Deuteronomy chapter 28, um, the first half of the chapter is the is the blessings that Israel will receive if they just keep the commands. That's all they had to do. And then the um, the second half is the the curses that are going to fall on them if they don't keep the commands. Please go read those. Go read those and think about what these people have been through since day one of arriving in this country as slaves. And you. Um, uh, just make up your own mind and pray about it and see where the Father leads you on that. That's all I can say. Um, for me, personally, this is my journey. And for me, it brought the scriptures alive to me. Like, I believed it. Like, these are, to me, his people that um, are still living this curse. Black people over here getting killed. The black people in other countries scattered in the slave trade. That's the real biblical Hebrew Israelite. So as a Gentile, I'm here to profess Black people, you are Israelites, you are the chosen ones, you are a prestigious people. The black people, the people of color that are here, that have been brought here from Africa, their ancestors brought here from Africa, are the Hebrew Israelites. Um, they're even in the uh, African dictionary, African and Negro are two different things, are two different classifications of people. Brothers and sisters, blacks of America, it's you. You are the true Hebrews. You are the true Hebrews from the Bible. I would interject that the true biblical Hebrews are the so-called African-American people that are scattered abroad throughout the world. No real Jews were Hebrews, black men who used to go there. Now the only race of people that were brought over on ships and sold as bondmen and bondwomen, which are slaves, are the so-called African-Americans. Specifically the people who have been sent all over the earth on slave ships, those people are superior, even in the Most High's eyes himself, because those people are the Israelites. And there's a scripture that says, not only it says if you bless them you'll be blessed, but there's also one that says you have to cling to them or you can't even be saved. I know the black people here are the true Hebrew Israelites. I know that. No matter how much fact, no matter how much scripture you all are presented with regarding who the Hebrews in the Bible were and who they are in the earth today, which would be the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, the Native Americans, the Aborigines. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the biblical Israelites. The Hebrew Israelites, God's chosen people, are what we call African-American, okay? They're not African and they're not American. They are God's chosen people. The real Israelites are the black and brown people of the world. The true Jews or your true Yehudim are the so-called black person or African-American as you like to call them sometimes. Um, they're not African at all. They're the true Jews. They're the true Hebrews that were brought over here on ships which the scriptures mention. If y'all are going to believe these lies, you're going to get misled. And that's the purpose of this. It's not about color. It's not about this and that. It's about identity theft. People's identity was stolen. They are the true Yehudim. The black people. All right. And when I first came in the Torah, and there was nothing but black people, and I just got kind of upset finally after, and I said, how come it's just the black people? Where do I belong? What is another word for bondage? Slavery. So the reason that the Israelites went into slavery is because they chose not to keep the covenant that God made with them and them only. So they call themselves black African-Americans. 
And really what they should be talking themselves is they are what? The Hebrews and the Jews of the original temple of the city of David. Now do you get the picture?